It should be the happiest time of his life, preparing to compete in the Little League World Series. Instead, this 12-year-old is in a medically induced coma after fracturing his skull in a bunk bed fall. Stephen Fabian tells us what happened. This 12-year-old kid is fighting for his life after falling off a bunk bed at the Little League World Series. Easton Oliverson is in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, gearing up for the biggest game of the season. Easton was staying in the tournament's dormitory complex. A photo from the parents' guide shows there are no guardrails on the top bunks. It's just a mattress. We spoke with his father, Jace, from the hospital room. He just simply rolled off and cracked his skull, his cheekbone, and while he cracked his skull, he broke an artery, and that's what was causing the bleed in his brain. Bunk beds made for the home like this one are required to have a guardrail. Unfortunately, no such standard currently exists for institutional beds, like in the dorm where the little leaguer was sleeping. Bunk bed injuries happen more than you think. 36,000 injuries are reported each year. And it's not just kids. In 2018, a popular bachelorette contestant was rushed to the hospital after rolling out of his top bunk. He fell out of bed and landed on his face. Oh my God. David Ravitz suffered a broken nose. Can you make a fist for me? In 2015, this young man fell off his college bunk and landed on his head. Clark Jacobs had to have brain surgery and was in a coma for 10 weeks. When he woke up, he had to relearn how to walk, talk, and eat. Casa Kids in Brooklyn specializes in bunk beds and says safety is always a top priority. The main feature for a bunk bed to be safe is the guardrail. It not only has to be in the front side of the bed, but all around. Unfortunately for Little Easton, there were no railings on his bunk bed. The doctors are very encouraged by his progress. He's not awake yet, so we're just being patient and hopeful, mm -hmm. prayerful, and just hoping for the best outcome. Little League admits they have used bunk beds without guardrails since 1992 without any previous serious injuries. Still, out of an abundance of caution, they are removing all bunk beds from their dorms and will now have each bed individually on the floor.